Okay, so there's two tools under here, Array and Instance. And both of them, what they're going to do is they're going to create copies of an object that you have, and you can determine how many copies. In the case of an array, it's going to copy them around uh, circumference. And in the case of instance, you can create multiple instances, and each instance is going to call back to the original object. And if you change the original object, all the instances will get updated, which is really powerful because you can have multiple instances. So first of all, let's take a look at the array object. So I'm just going to hide this Bezier object first, get that out of the way. And let's turn on something that we've done before. Not that, that's a little too complex. Let's turn on the cup. Yeah. So with this cup selected, and I'll just rename this, hitting the return key, I'll just call this cup. And then if I grab an array object, and I grab the cup and I throw it into the array, notice that we get the copies. So we have mesh subdivision, mesh subdivision is apparent um, under basic, right? So actually I want the array object selected so I can see what's going on here. So the radius is 250 right now. If I pull that out, and so now I can get some more separation. And then the number of copies is right here. So I can have as little as one and as many as you want going forward from there. So let's say we have this kind of arrangement. And then amplitude allows you to kind of add some randomness to where those are. And frequency, if we have randomness on, is going to do something else. So we want this to be zero. We want this to be zero right now. Um, so the cool thing about this, like I said, so you have all these copies. Now, unfortunately, it only goes on a circular pattern, right? So I can't set it up as a grid or a rectangular or anything like that. So it's only going to go circular. But it's still powerful because uh, this array is affecting this cup now. So if I were to go ahead and I were to go ahead and change the cup, so let's say I take the scale tool, uh, not that tool, the scale tool, and I start manipulating one cup. Notice that they all update. Right? So that's that's really powerful. You get multiple copies, and then those copies can be changed, and then it gets updated everywhere. So that's the that's the cool thing about an array. So the array object works that way. Let me pull these in or pull these out.